Honest J. Nowak. Coming at you live. All right. A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to Honest Jay Nowak. And today, HJN proudly presents to you yet another new topic out there for number 948. Mules. Now, for the record, lots of people out there have called them different names. Especially when you look at the kind of history that these animals have had for thousands of years. And of course, we all know what the one A word truly is. The three-lettered word that nowadays mostly depicts someone's rear end, which also has itself a bunch of well-known names. But the way I see it, that kind of word no longer belongs to a mule or a donkey. It is definitely well attributed to this one part behind me, of course. But of course, let's not show that off on camera. Let's not show that off to anybody at all. But I'm certainly going to explain to you exactly why these sorts of names did in fact take place throughout history and why donkeys and mules did in fact used to be called this one word. So, Especially when you look at the many things that had happened during the earliest known years of the A.D. era in which that, well, to this day, it's still a bit of a mystery when compared to B.C. before chronology. As in true chronology that is nowadays established. Because truthfully, it's been well over 2,020 years since that exact era had begun in history. And since then, a lot of stuff has definitely happened. Mount Vesuvius had erupted. The enormous takeover had taken place in Europe. The ginormous bubonic plague that had wiped out a third of the entire population of all of Europe. And who could ever forget? The founding of America, and then of course the well-establishment of seven continents, which are all still around today. But when you're looking at things today, the donkey or mule or that word sure has had a lot of progression. But one of these days, it's bound to have another name, a whole brand new name that might as well be more popular than the other three. But yet, I'm always gonna keep calling them donkeys. More specifically, donkeys that may have in fact had a huge huge influence in pop culture, mainly because of the Shrek films from 2001 to 2010, but also because of their insane kick that they have similar to horses and other equine animals. So in a way, there's probably a lot of stuff out there that I could in fact talk about, but we'll probably just leave this how it is. And if you want to see more, go down to my channel, then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.